Hi, my name is Shannon O'Brien. I am going to be going over chapter six. So chapter six is mostly about motivation. Motivation is a set of forces that originate both within and outside an employee, initiates work-related efforts, and determines the direction and intensity and persistence of a task. So then there is the expectancy theory, which is the process that employees go through to make choices among different voluntary responses. And then there is self-efficacy, which is the belief that a person has the capability needed to execute the behaviors required to have a successful performance. So with the expectancy theory, there are three different types that, of categories underneath it. There's expectancy, which is the belief that exerting a high level of effort will result in the successful performance of some task. And then there is instrumentality, which is the belief that successful performance will result in some outcome. And then there's valence, which is the anticipated value of the outcome associated with that performance. I'm going to go more under the expectancy, which leads to self-efficacy, which self-efficacy is also divided under four different types. There is past accomplishments, which is the goal that one has achieved throughout their past. And then there's vicarious experiences, which is delivering a feeling or experience from someone else, like telling through a story or something along those lines. Then there's verbal persuasion, which is being inspired by someone to get the job done through their words, like giving encouragement to someone, telling them they're doing a good job and all that. Then there are emotional cues, which is the feeling that could either be beneficial or harmful to complete a job. So I'm gonna go more into vicarious experiences, which again, come from the observation of other people. So there was a study done focusing on mentoring and storytelling. This was done by a professor at Turk University, a professor at Harvard Business School, a research associate at Harvard Business School, and a researcher at IBM Institutes. So basically, they were talking about how through mentors, you can transfer skills onto other people. And with that, basically, like someone will look up to a mentor, like a role model, and follow what they do. And they'll do the exact same thing that that mentor does to follow a task or do a certain thing in their work, like a day-to-day -day thing that they have to do. The mentor basically teaches the normal behavior that should go on during the day-to-day -day work. So like if someone was getting bad at something, that person will learn that, oh, so that's like a frustrating task, I should be like that when I do that. Or if it's like a positive thing, they'll be like, okay, so that's how I should react when this happens. I should be happy, I should be excited, and all that stuff. And then the story side of it is someone did, like telling a story about how someone did a certain task and this was their outcome. So basically an employee here is like, oh, so-and-so did it this way, so if I do it this way, I will receive the same outcome as them, I will get the same response, I will have the same success, which is not always the case. So the impact of vicarious experience in an organization can be either positive or negative. So an individual will know how to solve a problem. This can be positive and negative due to if an individual learns how to solve a problem a certain way, they can potentially get the same outcome, like a positive outcome, like a successful outcome or they could have a different problem but think, oh, I should still solve it this way because this is how I was told, which might not lead to a outcome they wanted or might not work at all, they might not be able to solve it, which then leads to the lack of work ethic and lack of creativity, which is a negative effect on an organization because someone will not put in the effort to solve a problem because they'll be like, oh, this is what I was told to do, but that's not what worked, so then I'm not gonna learn how to solve this other problem because that just didn't work out with how I was told how to do it. And that brings the lack of creativity, which means that no one tries to use their minds or their individuality to work the problem out, solve it their own way, find out a different way to solve certain problems like that one, which has the lack of like the diversity of minds in organization. And that's what an organization is all about, is everyone having a different individuality with themselves, coming in, having different ways to solve, minds coming together to solve certain problems. If everyone has the same mindset on everything, they will be unable to solve certain problems because they won't be able to branch out, be creative, and expand. And these are my sources. Thank you.